lights. So as long as I have enough room, we'll pull it free. There we go. So you don't need to pull that pulley off the front, which is nice, because it's like 140 foot pounds to pull that off, which is uh, pretty tight. So easy with the, the motor coming out. And if anything hangs up, you want to catch it before, before it causes a problem. Now, as far as I can tell, everything, everything in here is, it's almost like they made it so it would come out, okay? Like there's a little bump out in the, uh, in the AC lines that allows the motor mount to come through, stuff like that. So, uh, I think it was made to come out this way. I've, I've had like zero problems with the, uh, with the raising. I haven't gotten hooked on anything yet. the windshield in the back. If you hook the windshield here. start pushing the car back a little bit. Pretty happy with that. I'm gonna push the car back now.
Okay, the engine's free from the car. It's totally out. I just want to get it away from that. Oh, I pulled it with the with the manifold. I didn't even intend to do that. But uh, they say you can do it, and uh, there's proof. Okay, well, as you can see, the engine's out, but uh, my car's on a dolly. My dolly's not doing too hot. The wheels are bent. Yes, that is very sweet. So, I'm producing a video right now. Oh, I'm in the video here. Hey, I'm in the video. This is Joe. Talk about Taco Bell every dial of the Joe likes Taco Bell. <laughs> we didn't get paid for that. Yeah. So, um, I'm trying, like, I was going to move the car all the way over, and that would give me this bay to work in, you know, I could get all my stuff ready to go. But my wheel collapsed on my, oh, God. <clears throat> see, see this thing here? The wheel collapsed. Oh, this, oh. Is, this is the third time. The viewers aren't going to, they're not going to know what the fuck's been happening with this thing. But this, <laughs> I inherited it, I inherited this with the Mustang, when I bought the Mustang. This came with it. And I've been trying, I thought maybe I'll just weld it back together. Oh, jeez, clipped but over there. I didn't have time to get out the welder. Oh, man. But what a, what a piece of ass. Whatever it takes. And that means... That's what I thought. I thought whatever it takes was going to do it for me, but... Now I'm trying to get this engine in the... So the plan was to have the engine on that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the car was on that. Those, oh, that's so I can move the there. car. Oh, you got that's one right there. That's so I can move there. the car, yeah. Dang, while well, it was on that? Yeah. Oh, no, weird. That's a crisis. It's meant to move cars around. Yeah. And what does it fail at? <laughs> Moving cars it's around. To handle the weight, they can't handle it. No. I was going to put it on the engine stand, but that can't work because I can't do it because um, because I need the damper off of this. So once uh, I put it on the engine stand, I won't be able to get can't get over that wood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to try, we're going to try this. Okay, from what I've gathered, the motor mounts get 45 foot-pounds. That's the torque. There we go. Okay, 45 foot pounds. All right, since I can't move my car very well, I'm gonna sling my new engine and do it quickly so I can move my car back into the garage. So the sling is gonna go around the motor mount and around the gooseneck. That's what we're calling it now. Snack. Let me get 
to find like a balance point. This might be a little premature. I still want to do the uh, still want to do the damper, the trans damper. So let's zip that off real quick. Let's see if we can get away with just the damper and not the whole, not the flywheel and everything. So there's your damper. Normally I'll mark these before I take them off. Just so I can put them back on the way they came off. So, here we go. Put a marker right here on the top. Right there. That's pretty clear. This one, same deal. Now the moment of truth. Let's see if the old one fits on me. Fits on me. Nope. The old one does not fit on the new one. Okay, now I did have to change the the whole flywheel damper assembly, the whole thing. I, I was hoping just to do the damper, but um, so when you put the flywheel, the big the big heavy part, the solid part, when you put that on there, you use red Loctite, you tighten it to 36 foot pounds, and then another 90 degrees. Okay, that's uh, that's important. Those are the specs that I got, and then the damper. 
you're talking it to 22 foot pounds. It, some some say that you do it 15 foot pounds, others say 22. I say, you know what, you might as well do 22. It's not that much different. So you have to change the whole thing. 